Hey guys, Kevin again from Mix Coach. Today I'm going to show you how to filter a vocal or get that telephone effect that is so popular these days uh, without automating. So what we're going to do, let's just pretend that we have this vocal set up the way it is. You're mixing along and you decide that you want to put a filter or a telephone effect on this one sound. Now there's a couple of things you could do. You could automate uh, an EQ here, which I don't like to automate that much. I like to have all my options open without automating because I, I think automating makes you have to work too hard when you get to, into the throes of a mix. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually duplicate this track because we want to keep the same sounds. This is without it. Listen. Not you can hear the music folks play. Okay, so we let's just pretend that we've got the vocal sounding exactly like what we want, except we're going to put a filter sound in this line. What I'm going to do is duplicate this track with no active playlist. Okay, now I'm going to add a an EQ to it. So let's go to the EQ3 7 band. Okay, now I happen to have a preset right here. If you want to come to Mix Coach and get it, you can. It's pretty simple though, it's pretty straightforward. I got everything carved out below 553 hertz and everything above 200 or 2K. And then I've got a slight bump in the mid range. Now, so now we've got this exact same channel with a but with a filter on it okay so now what we're going to do is just make sure that you're in uh, separation mode and then I'm going to actually just pull this down to this channel so this is the result not you can hear the music folks play shows down to mobile Bay. Heaven okay so that's with no automation because when you pull this down the automation actually comes with it so it's just a little you don't have to automate EQ the bandwidth the filter where the fre filter frequency point is or anything like that so that's just one little trick that I use to get automation into my vocals without actually having to automate so hope you can use that trick and I will see you tomorrow